it's Michelle back here again with another video today's video is going to be talking about men it needs to be said it's summer everybody's out on the prowl and I have had some stories this is gonna be a bunch of mini stories put together of experiences my daughter and I've had recently that I just think need to be talked about so if you're interested in hearing it please continue watching no, I was a Channel. Welcome, I'm Michelle. Nice to have you. I hope you subscribe. Click that bell to be notified because you wouldn't want to miss any videos of me and for returning subscribers as always. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. So let's get into this video. The first story I'm going to talk about, my daughter and I decided to go for a nice walk. It's been getting really warm out and we just wanted to go out and enjoy a nice evening. Like why not? Why can't we go out and enjoy a nice evening, right? Well, I'll tell you why. So we're going out to get frozen yogurt and on our way back home, we were standing at a crosswalk and I noticed this car that looked like it had yellow spray paint kind of like running down the side of its car and they had spray painted the rims yellow. Okay. So my daughter and I crossed the street and we hear, Hey! My daughter turns around. I personally don't really like to look when I hear guys yelling. I just try to ignore them and hope they'll go away. But she turned around and looked and this guy had the nerve to say, what are you bitches doing? Like who says that? Can we not walk down the street without being harassed and called bitches, honestly? It is really sad that everywhere we go, we are harassed, honked at, whistled at, yelling things out of their car, and even sometimes worse. Story number two. My daughter and I, we like to go for walks to Tim Hortons. We love our ice cabs. It was a beautiful evening, so we decided to walk. We didn't get out not one block, and this guy starts following us in his car. The pace that we were walking is how slow he was going with his car. So he's trying to get our attention. He starts out, Hey, hey, you're cute. And I look over and I'm just like, no. Like giving him the shrug and the no, thinking, okay, I'm saying I'm not interested, go away. He continues, what's your name? So I'm just like to my daughter, just let's just ignore him and keep on walking. So he continues, hey, hey, why don't you go, go over there? Leading me to go down a side street that he says he's going to pull down the side street. And I said, no, go away. He still continued to slow crawl, driving at the pace that we were walking until he got to the main street. And then he finally turned and left us alone. There was no need for him to continue going slow like that. It made me feel so nervous. I honestly was thinking of turning down the side street and not going the way I was going because I wanted to get away from him. But I mean, he could follow me regardless. Thankfully, he finally left us alone. It is really good to travel in pairs or more than one. I always get nervous with my daughter outside alone because if they're already doing this with me there, I can just imagine what these men will do when I'm not there. That leads me into my next story. My daughter loves going across the street to the park. It's directly across the street so I can see her from my window. She's 13 years old, but she looks a lot older. I might put a picture up here. I'm not really sure if I want to show her. So she loves going to the park, swing on the swings. Later on in the evenings, when the park dies down and all the littler kids go, she just likes to listen to her music, enjoy the warm weather once it's not too hot and it's cooling off in the evening time. And personally, I don't want to sit at the park every single night or all night long. So she goes over there for an hour or so and I just kind of watch over her, keep looking outside and making sure nobody's around and nobody's bothering her. But it literally takes a second, okay? You think at 13 years old she'd be okay to be outside of the park for an hour around 8, 9 o'clock? It's still light out, but no. So she came home the one night and tells me, this story. I had literally just looked outside five minutes prior and then she comes walking in. So it all happened in a matter of minutes. When she got to the park, she said there was a white van sitting there with some people in it. She didn't think nothing of it. They were sitting there for a while and then a guy got out of the van, came over and sat on the swing, not directly beside her, but the one beside that. So it wasn't super creepy, but still just kind of weird. He was probably in his 20s much older than her. He starts talking to her, asking her her age, uh, what she wants to do with her life. She says she wants to work with children and he says, oh yeah, me too. I'm in college. That's what I'm going to college for. Asking her when she goes to the park, how often she goes to the park. Is she always at the park around that time? Which I found personally very creepy. 
He said something about he doesn't like being at the park for more than 10 minutes and kept looking at his watch. Finally got up after her telling him that she's only 13 years old and went in the van, sat in there for a few more minutes and left. That could have been totally harmless, but obviously, why did you get out of the van after sitting there for so long, decide to sit on the swing for a few minutes, ask her her age, uh, where she goes to school, how often she comes here, what time she hangs out at the park, what she's doing there, different weird questions. I personally, as a mother, feel that that was really sketchy. It's kind of like grooming. I've had things happen to me growing up that I may do a video on one of these days, but I have reason to be paranoid, not to mention everything that's in the news, everything that happens, girls are getting taken, raped, you name it every single day. And it is so scary that our children have to live in a world where we have to worry about this kind of thing. But it is very, very real. And even if somebody is being innocent and just making light conversation and it means no harm by it, you never can be too careful. So another time Ariane was sitting on the swing and a guy approaches her with a beer in hand. She said she thought he was drunk. He was talking kind of funny. He came right up into her face, into her personal space while she was on the swing and she had her headphones in and he had to tap her. He asked her where a street was that's right by our house. She directed him where it was and hoping he would go away. He was kind of still standing there. So she got up, felt nervous. She got up and kind of stood away from him and he continued to try to ask her questions. Like, do you have a lighter? Do you have any papers? I have weed. And she says, I'm 13, I don't smoke. And he says, oh, okay, you're not ready yet. Never mind, and walks away. First of all, how many older women are sitting in a park hanging out on a swing? Maybe because it's evening time, they assume that she's older and that a grown woman's just chilling in the swing. I'm not judging here. I like the swing too, but I mean, I don't know. I personally can see it in her face that she's not a grown woman, but I guess because she's developed and these kids nowadays are looking so much more grown with the makeup, the eyeliner, they're so much more developed in their bodies that they do look older, but why can she not just sit at a park without being bothered and having people come on to her? It's, it's just really sad, you know, and it's scary for a parent, for anybody, really. I feel nervous when people are approaching me and won't leave me alone, never mind my 13-year-old daughter. There was another time recently that a guy comes up and approaches me saying he knows me. I did not recognize him and starts talking about how he was addicted to pills and that he had a car accident and then he got addicted to pills and he was buying them on the street. Just going off and he looked like he was tweaking on something. It was so, so scary and he kept pressuring me. Give me your number. Give me your number. We can hang out sometime. I was really genuinely nervous, honestly. I gave him a fake number and to this day, I'm still scared that I'm going to run into him and he's going to have realized, obviously, that I gave him a fake number. Maybe he was too messed up to realize and to even bother trying to call it. Here's hoping because these type of situations are just crazy. Like, I just want to be able to go out for a walk. I want my daughter to be able to be outside without us being harassed. Like, honestly, just the simple things of us walking somewhere and being honked at. People yelling and whistling out of their cars. Like, guys, come on, have some respect. Like, what is that doing for you? What are you accomplishing by yelling stuff out of your car? What are you accomplishing by startling women, by honking on the horn, me, me, really loud? It's very startling. We're just walking, minding our own business. Keep in mind, not that it matters. You can be in the most provocative, sexy outfit you want, and that doesn't mean you deserve to be harassed, honked at, yelled profanity, yelled sexual things. Nobody deserves that. But my daughter and I have not been dressing in anything provocative. When I go for walks, I'm in running shoes and sweatpants, a hoodie. My daughter's in just a regular t-shirt and jeans. It's not like we're looking like we're trying to get attention. And still, this is happening. It is just so frustrating. My daughter, the one day, like, we're both getting to the point where you want to yell at these guys. At point, she was like, holy, just fuck off, because... It was like three times in a matter of 20 minutes of us walking from our place to Tim Hortons that we were honked at and yelled stuff out out of people's cars. 
The other day we're walking home and there's a whole car full of teenagers. The guy that was driving, he puts his head out the damn car like he's a dog <laughs> and yells something about ho ho or go home. It was really hard to tell because they were all laughing and loud and it just, you weren't really expecting it. But I was like, wow, like was that necessary? What did that do for you? Honestly, like it just makes you feel like you want to hide in the house and we shouldn't have to feel like that as women. Listen, if any men are watching this video, do not approach a woman like that. You're not going to get where you want to get with them. And I don't see what your point is. Like acting like you're cavemen, like, oh my God, I've never seen a woman before. Oh my God, that's someone of the female species. Oh, I have to honk. I have to yell stuff. Like leave us alone. My daughter's been on a kick of wanting to go to Dairy Queen and then we walk home and she has to feel so uncomfortable licking her ice cream because the way these men are looking at her and one guy even came up asking her about, oh, how does that taste? I can't taste anything and oh, how many licks have you had? And then he goes in the store, comes back out and still asks her, oh, you looks like you haven't had very many licks. Oh, what's happening? How come you're not eating your ice cream? Like, who cares? Why are you bothering her about her damn ice cream? Like she has to feel like she's being put on display to have a damn ice cream. She's a kid and she wants to enjoy her ice cream. So last week there were two guys walking on one side of the street and we were on the other. We we're walking this way and they were walking towards us. But on the opposite side of the street, one of the guys crosses over to our side and the one that stayed on this side yells over, Oh, you're very lucky you get to pass those cute girls. Like, what the hell? So any girls who have similar stories to this or any kind of crazy stories of being harassed by men, I would love to hear them. Comment them down below. We all know not to talk to strangers, right? That's an obvious, but don't ever feel like you have to be nice to these men or approachable or have small talk with them. If you're not interested, just show them right from the get-go. No, 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 because any little bit of niceness seems to keep them lurking around longer. Oh, maybe they have an in. Oh, maybe you're a little bit interested. They think they can slip their way in because you're being friendly to them. And that is honestly how it works. Give them an inch, they take a mile. So my daughter and I have had a couple talks about safety precautions, ways to handle if something does arise that makes her feel uncomfortable or scared or somebody's being creepy. And she suggested that she would want to go to the nearest store or walk around a random street first and not come straight home because she doesn't want them to know where she lives and be able to stalk her or come into the home and harm her, harm me break in, steal her, whatever the case may be. I do not suggest that whatsoever. I do not think that's a safe plan. And believe me, we've talked about that. Come straight home, girls. Go to the nearest, closest, safe place. I would rather the person know where we live and I can call 911 than have her trying to get to a store or walking around random streets so that they don't know where we live and she's never to be seen of again. It is just way too common for girls to be stolen, raped, killed. It seems dramatic, but if you watch the news, you know it's reality. It's an unfortunate reality. A lot of kids are far too trusting and they just always think, oh, nothing's going to happen. Oh, it won't happen to me. Unfortunately, they're naive. And if you are young and you're watching this video, please listen to your parents. Please believe bad things happen and just be safe. Be cautious. I worry every time she leaves the house. I am on total edge looking out that window. Even if she's out with her friends, the other day she said she was going for a walk with her friends and it had been almost two hours I hadn't heard from her and I started panicking, messaging her friends, messaging her friends' parents and maybe that may seem a little overprotective but I'd rather be overprotective and safe than sorry. I ended up going and looking for her and she was on her way home thankfully but you just never know. I Even my mother says she gets cat calls. Like it happens to everybody and it just makes us so uncomfortable. So men, if you're watching this, just stop. Don't do it. And if you see your friends doing it, tell them, stop doing that. Like treat us with respect. Nobody wants to be honked at, yelled at, out of a car. What? 
benefit does that give you, honestly? So that's just my little rant, some stories, things that I've been going through lately. It's so darn frustrating. I have some cute little dresses and stuff, and if this is already happening in my sweatpants, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to wear a paper bag for the whole summer. So if you enjoyed watching this story time and would like to hear more, I have so many story times that I would like to tell. Please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos of me. And until the next time.